All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I bought Jay Leno's Honda CBX. Okay, no, I didn't. Um, so this Honda CBX is just like Jay Leno's, though, in the fact that it's a 1981 Honda CBX and the color scheme. Other than that, sorry, I've, it doesn't run. Well, it runs, but it only runs on four cylinders, and it has six. So it's like Jay Leno's, but it's not. So sorry to snake you guys. So this is the latest purchase that I have bought. I can't help myself and I have no self-control and I bought a Honda CBX. I've always wanted one, so here I go. The early CBXs, the 79 and 80s, they're naked CBXs. Yes, they do look better, but they are astronomical in price. This one I paid $7,000 for. This is the cheapest CBX that I have ever seen, and so I purchased it. Um, come up here and we will see why it was so incredibly cheap. Alright, before we talk about why this was so cheap, so the Honda CBX, it came out in 1979. It was around for four years until 1982. There was two different kind of versions of it. The previous one is a more naked version, but it has an inline six engine. The early versions had 105 horsepower. The later ones were detuned to 98 horsepower, something about Germany and the regulations there about importing motorcycles. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll blame Germany. So it's all the Germans' fault why this one only has 98 horsepower, well, currently no horsepower, and the previous ones had 105. But as you can see, it's a cool bike. Like I said, as the inline six engine, which I think is really cool. They sound like a Formula One car from the 1980s. So super, super cool bike, super cool sounding. And we will see why it was so incredibly cheap for me to purchase. So I will admit I got a bit snaked on this purchase. I knew it needed a little bit of work, but it's a bit rougher than I originally was led to believe. It was a bit of a hassle purchasing this as well. The guy said he took PayPal, then I guess doesn't realize how PayPal works. I'm not entirely sure, but thank you to the shipper for picking this one up. So we see we have a broken turn signal here. Um, these tires, they I, I'm not sure how old they are, but they are old. I haven't even looked at the date code, but you could not pay me to ride on these dry rotted tires. So the tires need to be replaced. The front brakes, uh, well, the lever just goes to the handlebar and does nothing. So I am redoing the entire brake system, all new, rebuilding the master cylinders, rebuilding the calipers, all new pads, stainless steel braided brake lines. It's brakes on a motorcycle worth every penny because you need brakes. The rear brake pedal does nothing. It, it won't move. Yeah. Um, on the luggage, this latch right here is broken on this back pannier, so that's kind of frustrating. The paint, I mean, he already, the seller did disclose this, but it's all a bit rougher than originally anticipated. Um, we can see up here, it has 34,430 miles. Um, we are missing the indicators and then the high beam place there so I'm going to see if I can't find those well I've got the indicator ones already ordered I gotta find that and let's see this windscreen it has definitely seen better days and we have an inspection from Virginia for 1998 there and one for um, not sure what year guessing that's I don't know if that's the year or the month the 12 I don't know if that's 2012 or it's December I don't know how Virginia works but that's a Virginia inspection so I don't know and we'll come around here so the exhaust is a little rusty but it's a 1981 the engine's a bit crusty as well but like I said it's a 1981 so the seller disclosed that the side stand was broken on this. So I have it on the center stand, but apparently there's no spring for the center stand and he had to wire it up. 
Um, he said it did idle last year and would need to clean the carburetor, so I expected that. And so I've got the stand in there, the side stand, so then I'll have to have that welded on. And I did try to start it up. It ran on four out of the six cylinders. And very poorly on those four out of the six cylinders. The idle jets were clogged. And I was doing a bit of a lean pop as well, so I will not be starting it up for this video. All right, well, let's remove the tank, the seat, and the side covers and take a look at it some more. All right, so I've got the seat and the side covers off. So the seller disclosed he thinks the tank has a pinhole leak around here. Is it? So I'm probably going to have that welded just to be safe. All right, so another thing the seller did not disclose is there should be another one of these right here on this side cover, but there is not. So that's a bit annoying as well. All right, now we have everything off the tank, the seat and the side covers. So we have the battery here, which is completely dead. There's air filter in here, which has done more than its fair share of filtering. So that needs to be replaced. Um, the carburetors need to be cleaned. It has three coils. And apparently to pull the carburetors, I have to like swing the engine down a little bit. So that's going to be a project for sure. So I do have rebuild kits for the carburetors already ordered. And let's see, stage three jet kit, because I'm actually going to eliminate this as these rubber boots here are all cracked and you cannot get replacements. So it's hard to get something to run correctly when you have an air leak. So I'm just going to eliminate that. I'm going to run k and pod filters. I normally don't like doing that, but I have no other options. So I will be doing that and Therefore, in the future as well, if I need to remove the carburetors, I won't have to swing the engine down. So that'll make that go from like a two-hour job to a two-minute job. All right, I know everybody's asking, all right, what exhaust are you going to do on this? Well, I have an exhaust already ordered, a six-to-one exhaust, so I can get that sweet, sweet Formula One sound. All right, guys, I hope you're as excited about my Honda CBX as I am. There is a lot of work to do. I'm just going to get, get it on the road right now. It's kind of roadworthy. So brakes, tires, carburetors, exhaust, those kinds of things. I'm not going to really turn it into a re restoration on it right now. As uh, you all know, I have plenty of other bike projects as well. I actually did drop off my commando frame last week to powder coat. So hopefully I'll be getting that back in the next few weeks. Frame and swing arm and a bunch of other bits that so I can start getting that back together so hopefully we'll have more content on the commando soon and then we'll have content on this non-stop because this is going to be a bit of a project I've got loads of stuff ordered for this I do have to order the tires and a couple other bits but that's it also the fork seals the fork seals are completely shot so those have to be replaced as well I do have those ordered and coming in as well so please make sure you like and subscribe as I will have a lot more videos coming on the CBX, hopefully me riding it shortly when everything comes in and I get it fixed. And then also with the Commander Restoration Project, the P11 project as well. I, I may or may not have a holiday special for you guys. Might be a numbers matching Vincent Black Shadow. Walk around it and ride it as well. That's a very, very special bike. So make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Tell me what other bikes that you're interested in seeing. Maybe I've got some around me. Maybe I can come check it out. Maybe it's one of yours. I'd love to come check out your cool, old, and interesting motorcycle. It doesn't even have to be old. I like new bikes as well. The new Triumphs are cool. I wouldn't mind having a BMW GS as well. So thank you, and have a great day.